Good morning, folks. We've got solar climate forcing in the news today. The earthquake watch continues with another big earthquake, and we're going to start with our star because there are things to know. First, that massive corona hole is going to have its solar wind impact Earth sometime between tomorrow night and Wednesday night. Geomagnetic storms are expected. We're also beginning the flare watch period of the half harmonic of the 5.9 month cycle here in December. Right on time, we've got several regions of growth within the sunspots. We'll have eyes on all of those. Once again, the bigger uptick is expected in February or March, but we did expect the half harmonic this month could be kicking in right now. The several active regions will be monitored as they cross the Earth-facing portion of our star. Following that weird earthquake in Africa we reported yesterday, we had a 6.7 in Samoa occur in the middle of the day. Actually rang in initially at 6.9, was quickly downgraded by the USGS. Watch continues, but hopefully that's all we're going to get. A little known solar forcing fact, even among our own community, is that after the general heating during solar flares and during geomagnetic storms, certain patterns arise over and over again over the following week that always enhance the heat in some areas and bring cold fronts to others. Here, they found that in the two weeks following geomagnetic storms, one of the places that routinely gets those cold waves is in Serbia. This is surely due to a combined impact of geomagnetic activity on the North Atlantic Oscillation and the Azores semi-permanent high-pressure cell. As if the solar force and correlations aren't enough of a kick in the teeth to climatologists, they did a study on the Eocene greenhouse period of the past. It's a period many modern scientists look to for confirmation of their modern global warming theories, but upon closer examination, every single cycle and oscillation during that time period matches sunspot activity, such that it's impossible to determine origin of forcing. There have been so many new studies on the solar impact of the environment that we actually have a new textbook that just came out this month, not only with the solar influence on Earth's climate, but on natural disasters as well. All today's papers and that new book reinforce the solar influence over climate while also hinting at the importance of Earth's currently weakening magnetic field for the increased impact to our planet. We greatly appreciate your support. Look below the video in the description box for all your observer resources. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.